Hello, I am Bashar Bizra, consultant ENT, facial plastic surgeon. I published my textbook on rhinoplasty, facial plastic surgery in 2002. The book has more than 500 pages and 1,000 illustrations. The textbook was forwarded by the presidents of the American and European Academies of Facial Plastic Surgery and was distributed worldwide. I hope you find these videos are very interesting. It's designed mainly for uh, surgeons, plastic surgeons, and ENT and facial plastic surgeons. It's professional and educational. It presents my approach, my school, the business school of rhinoplasty. Uh, you are most welcome, and I hope you find it very interesting. This case is a wide, very wide tip with a wide flared alar base, as you see, with mild settling. So we are going to consider uh, tip velocity, alar base reduction, and dorsum augmentation. So we start the procedure first by obtaining a septal graft. I might say head coming again very on the floor. No, 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 it's okay. Hopefully we try to get to the right plane. Yeah, we are on the right plane. Once you are on the right plane, see everything run easy, quickly and smoothly. So the left by the clap will be in a few seconds. Now we go to the right side and make small scroll the cartilage, small cut in the cartilage. And we go to the other side. Again, we'll be looking for the right plane. I think we go to the right plane. So as you see, less than one minute, we already have the cartilage in the middle. We could go on the right plane. I will now, so I will now obtain a septal graph, which we are going to use for columnar strut graph and for dorsum for dorsum augmentation. So we got my nice graph as you see. Okay. Now we start with our line of last seat, transcartinous incision, midline, and the if I cut our cross, if I cut our cross, and then again in midline, and the level of the if I cut our cross, and medially, so start, they are trying many to work in the midline, and then do some augmentation again, don't do too much, only a very small pocket of dorsum over undermining. For your graph, because we don't want our graph to float and to move, so just a bucket to fit the graph, fit the graph in. Okay. Now we remove the curvature of the upper lateral cartilage, which contributes to the subalar fullness and to the wide because this white tip is not only because of the other cross, it's of two factors. The curvature of the, of the abalatal cartilage and the other cross. So we're just trying to get the mucosa away and then see the curvature. We uh, remove the curvature of the cartilage, you see we preserve the mucosa, as you see, and preserve the whole integrity of the upper lateral class as well. And this is there. We go to the other side. Again, this is the curvature of the upper lateral cartilage. So we get the mucosa down away. Try to preserve the mucosa, get the mucosa down away, and then just trim the cartilage. Okay, so this is the mucosa is there. Okay. Now the next step we want to reduce the size of the tip and do more definition. 
بیش از انفورشنسی هز ویلی سوفت از لک سیچو عزیزی و از دوی بعد کوالیتی آف سکن تو از نفت ایزی این هفتی دور آف آف اگمنتیشن میدار تو اشیف هده کوئی تیب و ازیکشن ایون مای مای شاگ دبل آف از نفت ایزی هاو دن نایت سلایدن from the region to the preservation of the M. Calculate, as we have seen in previous cases, and not that to deliver the mid middle cut to one side. Sliding, it has got very soft tissue, lax tissue, and bad skin quality, as you got all the scars there. This is the two intermediate and we can cool that to one side now as you see there and with sharp scissors we we'll make a bucket in between the two medial cooler just above the nether spine okay. Okay, and then we we'll get our graph and modify it we want a low summer graph and put it up and so we modify it now our, our graph as you see those are the graph, columnar strut and tip graph so this is the columnar strut now the first one we push it in the pocket and we we'll switch our together. Let's restructure the medial intermediate cooler to the columnar strut. So we are going to achieve multi projection, especially in the columnar, and achieve multi definition also. Make a strong tip support. Now we make another graph, another sorry, another another bucket of skin sharp edges, and make another bucket along the column coded ends of the medial cura for the tip graph. Mm -hmm. The patient has good columnar scar that we care for. Now this is our tip graph, long one. So we put this in. Okay. And we switch it to the cord and ends of the medial cura. We want a strong tip graph because the patient has got, as you said, lax soft tissue and very bad skin. So we need a strong graph to hold the tip up and to achieve more definition and refinement and rotation of the tip. So we'll step my back now to the midline. We already have got some more narrowing, more definition, more elevation. And now we look at the local grass. This is the local grass is left intact there. No marginal incision, no delivery. We just now remove the sharp edge there. So we don't trim any almost any part of the local grass. Again, as you see, the local grass on this side is left intact. Uh, no marginal incision, only this sharp edge. Okay. Now we need to work on the on the dorsum graft. Mm -hmm. Not too and you may pass here. This is a graft from the septum. 
we are going to use on the dosam, but we are going to wrap it with fascia. With fascia, not the homograph. This advantage, it will, it will not, hopefully, it will not demarcate. And also, it will be more fixed in the middle. I'm just bevering, bevering the sharp edges of the cartilage. Demarcation. And this is the fascia lata, so we put it like a sandwich and we will just grab it. Okay. Now we've been rubbed. So we are going to suture it. The operation under local with sedation. Shalata, as you see. second and it's not moving it's fixed because we make exact pocket inside so no no oval undermining of the septum so the patient has got nice now profile and already the dorsum has been lifted up now i want to do a little bit of more narrowing of the tip so we do spinal suture i mean uh, the third class approximating suture. When approximate the two median, the third class median. approximating suture to achieve more definition and more narrowing, narrowing of the tip because the patient has what a very wide very wide round tip with lax tissue soft tissue and not very good quality of skin you see now almost the width of the tip is almost half or less than half as it was before. A lot of improvement now as you see with the shape of the tip, with the dog sample, with everything. Okay, now we'll do the we 
the mood, oh, I need that back out. And we'll do the reduction of the ailer base now. I made my marking before surgery. I made my measurement and my marking before surgery. the weight on the left side, now on the right side. Now we suture the right side, the left side first, and then we suture the right side. Very nice dry film. The patient been very well prepared, and this is the beauty of local and sedation that you can have less bleeding, so you can see more. Once you can see more, so you know what you are doing, you can operate better and in more accurate and precise way. If you have bleeding, you will not be able to see, so you cannot really operate precisely. So you would either overtake or undertake. Just one side, the other side now. Indonesian approach, do full septal anoblasty, you have obtained septal graft, we did tiplasty, foramenal strat, tibial graft, the immediate cura, intermediate cura sutures, the other cast approximating sutures, do some graft and now the inner wedge resection. Seventeen. Seventeen. And under local with sedation and almost twenty minutes only. This is really uh, very very good. Very nice. And it's the beauty about this technique. And, and you see, what we, we did not excise much. It was a technique based on incisions more than excision. So the other cross was intact there, intact there. So we preserved the ailer side wall. Good structure, good cartilage there. No kefir cutter cross excision. Uh, the upper cartilage still there, we only excise the curvature of the upper cross and no more excision at all, it's more augmentation. So it's technique that based on, on excisions more than, uh, sorry, the technique based on incisions more than excisions. With reservation of structure, with reservation of the full integrity of the upper cross, working mainly medially, no marginal incision, no explosion of the upper cross. So now we'll show you with the other camera the whole side of the nose, the profile, the base, the tip, and compare with before. Picture before, you see very wide, very extremely wide tip. 
ill-defined, no definitions at all. You see there is a base, the old columnar strut, the very wide base, very wide nails, and look at the profile with very bad quality of skin, and look what we achieved now. See, look at the profile. Very nice, very nice. No summer, no summer drafting, and very nice profile. More to the finishing, to the memory from bed now. How much, how much memory we achieved, how much definition, how much refinement, and the A-like base, a big difference in the A-like base. And you see now the narrowing, the definition, the refinement of the tip, and the straight dorsum with dorsum graft there. Separate graft wrapped, wrapped with fascia, homograft, uh, fascia lattice. So an autogenous septal graft wrapped with, with, with uh, fascia lata homograft. So it's very nice, very good results. Almost 20 minutes under local with sedation. This is Dr. Basha Bizra, consultant ENT, facial plastic surgeons from our BMC and SEED centers. Thank you.